Hi everyone, this time I'm going to introduce the pr current progress of my project which is Extrometer based gesture recognition. And the last time I said I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to use the Extrometer data from uh, in the Android uh, device and uh, uh, create application in the PC. And then I changed my mind, I want to create an uh, application in the Android, create the recognition, gesture recognition application in Android and uh, nobody wants to hold such a big thing to do gesture and uh, so I will use the watch um, to create uh, to provide the gesture uh, the motion the accelerometer data and uh, here is the receiver of this watch so now let's begin I'm going to plug in this receiver to the USB adapter and uh, plug in it to the Android uh, tablet now I'll open the tablet unlock it the first thing I'm going to do is not to open the device open the application I'm going to open the terminal so that uh, I will show that the device is recognized let's zoom in all right I'm going to list all the files in the device directory now we can see that the receiver is recognized as TTYACM0 so it's successfully recognized then let me check the authority of this file we can see that not everyone can read and write this file so I'm going to change the authority so that everyone can read and write it change mode and then show that again now everything is RWX so everyone can read it then I'm going to open my application and uh, this test alright I'm going to zoom out here is the test uh, first I'm going to connect it now it's successfully connected and there are three functions of my application for now the first is to uh, prove that the accelerometer data is successfully um, received and then the second one is to create the gesture library and the third one is to do the gesture recognition first I'm going to show that the accelerometer data is received um, and now it's already connected so press this button to begin begin to send the gesture uh, the accelerometer data now the ad adapter is bl uh, blinking and uh, I will push start we can see that the, re the data is received if I put it still the data will not change but if I do this kind of twist it will change so I stop it the second function is to create the gesture library um, with this button you can choose eight gestures upside up down left right circle anti-circle square and the tri triangle and after you choose it and you click this button and do the gesture it will be recorded it will be saved to the library as I've already have the eight gestures in the library I'm not going to create any Alright, now I'm going to show the functionality of gesture recognition. Firstly, I'm going to push the recognize button and, and I'm going to put it down for a while. I'm going to hold this watch and draw a circle. And then I'm going to show you that it is recognized as circle. And now I'm going to do another one. Push the button. Put it down and uh, this time I'm going to draw a square and it successfully oh wait and it successfully recognize a square or right, I'm going to do the last one recognize and uh, this time I'm going to draw a triangle And we can see that it's successfully recognized as triangle. 
I'm not going to show more gestures, but uh, I have eight gestures in the library, and uh, the accuracy is pretty good. But I'm going to try to um, optimize the uh, algorithm, which I use a uh, dynamic time warping, and I'm going to um, make it that we can recognize the gesture in multiple plane. Like if you draw the circle in this plane or in this plane, it will also it was be recognized as circle. That's it. Thank you.